Today, and as part of our Build to Rent series, I wanted to share with you and talk about how you can find and review um, a Build to Rent development. And who better to talk to than, than Rory Kramer? Rory set up the website Home Views, which does exactly that. Rory, um, thank you for joining me. And should we perhaps just kick off with an explanation of, of what you guys get up to at Home Views? Because it's about customer reviews. Is that right? Exactly that, Phil. Thanks for having me. Um, so in a nutshell, Homeviews is the trip advisor for new build developments. Mm-hmm. Um, all the review- reviews you read on Homeviews are um, from verified residents who live in these buildings. Um, and I kind of like the analogy, we're, we're creating the opportunity for that conversation with the neighbour you wish you'd had before you'd moved in. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, I, the- I, I love the sound of it. I'm a big believer in, in genuine customer reviews. And it's not about marketing budgets or, or fancy developers, blah, blah, blah. But it, choosing where to live is one of the biggest decisions anybody ever faces. So if you're able to genuinely find out what it's like to live there from someone who lives there, mm-hmm. that, that's really powerful, isn't it? It really is. And we've got 38,000 reviews now across two and a half thousand developments in the UK. And yeah. uh, a big proportion of that um, is in built to rent developments, which are obviously quite a new uh, yeah. option. And um, and there's lots to learn about them. What would you say are the top things that people should consider when they're assessing or comparing and contrasting different built to rent developments? Well, on home use, you're, you get a lot of different insights. So you rate the facilities, the design, the location, the value, the management of the buildings. And I'd say that the top three things that come through from built to rent tenants is something we were talking about earlier, security of tenure. The fact Mm -hmm. when you're renting in one of these buildings, Mm -hmm. you know you're not going to be turfed out. They're professionally owned and managed. Um, People also mention the curation of a community. I I think a lot of people that live in apartment buildings often don't know their neighbours. And through built to rent um management um and events people really feel like they're part of a community within these buildings and and then lastly just the practicalities of having people on site to fix your dishwasher when it breaks Mm. or to fix that leak and not waiting for a week for a a landlord to to, um in in a typical scenario so yeah those are i think the three of the the big Mm. features that come up it certainly strikes a chord with me. I, I feel like I'm a bit late to the party getting involved and getting a, a better understanding of the built to rent community or sector. And, and I've recently had the opportunity as part of this series to look around a few of them. And I was hugely impressed by the range of facilities that, that people were enjoying, whether it was dining rooms or gyms or cinemas or yeah, it was just sensational. I, yeah. I guess I guess all of those facilities must come at a cost. It, it's fair to say, isn't it, that there is a premium paid in, in a build to rent development or does it alter to, 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 to between them um well i think you need to consider what you're also saving living one of these buildings like, as you say a lot of them have a gym they have co-working space yeah um so you know there's a lot of additional benefits of living in one of these buildings it might save you money otherwise having memberships elsewhere um often bills are included within them as well and i think if you were to that, that i mean if you were to compare renting in a normal new build development but with a with a private landlord um i'd actually say built to rent is is no more expensive um but you do it is definitely for now uh, a premium product I, I think there will be a lot more options though in the market as as this market evolves yeah. more affordable options of institutionally owned professionally managed buildings um so for the, for the for the wider audience it does seem to be growing very quickly the the the, the opportunities that the numbers of developments the numbers of units it's grown ever so quickly it is i was actually just reading a stat earlier they um it's mm. estimated that the number of completed stock is going to grow by five times in the next 10 years and i think that's probably conservative i mean some other stats we were looking at in in london in uh, the last year alone 40% of all new builds homes sold have been sold to built to rent operators. Is it across all sort of sectors and, and ages and demographics of, of society? Is it young as well as old? Or old I think it's fair to say at the moment, predominantly, and I think it's uh, you know, significantly 18 to 35 year olds within these yeah. buildings. Um, I think what you'll see is that age group probably increases. It, built to rent is just now coming into the housing market. It's been much more focused to date on a, apartment buildings. Right. Um, and obviously in central urban locations, you would expect a slightly younger demographic. Mm. 
But I think what's really interesting, I've seen lots of examples of um, downsizers moving into these buildings because completely hassle free. They yeah. can sell their house, bank the money, put it in other investments mm-hmm. um, and live in a, in a community where you know, you've got someone on the front desk and people are being looked after. Mm-hmm. So I think to date it has been uh, 18 to 35 year olds predominantly, mm-hmm. but I think that's going to change. While we're sort of on that topic of, of different people at different stages of life, can you just outline for people who aren't perhaps familiar with what build to rent actually entails, the differences in renting in the private sector versus renting in a in a build to rent development? Yeah, I think look, the easiest way to describe it is these buildings firstly have been built to rent out, so they've been designed with um, a view that you know, you're being l- looked after by the owner of the building in, in perpetuity. And so it's really um, almost bridging the cap between a home and hospitality. So the level of service and, and uh, that you're gonna get is, is much higher than in any other type of, of residential building. Um, also because the owners and investors in these buildings, they have an interest in making sure you stay there as long as possible. So you've got a long-term security of tenure. Um, and they're also really invested, and, and part of the reason why a lot of the operators work with us, in making sure they do a good job. I mean, if the if these buildings don't deliver a good level of service, they won't be filled up with tenants. Yeah. Tenancies obviously typically are between, you know, around about 24 months. Um, so if you don't do a good job, then you ain't going to have a full building. And I, I think it's... Um, you know, they're very aware of the service that they're providing to their residents and, and want to keep that going on in a long term basis. Which I guess is where your website, Home Views, steps in because it's a it's a customer review platform and they want their reviews to be as good as they can. Can, can um, how, how do you get the reviews? How do you generate your reviews on the site? So we so we now, as I said, we've got about 38,000 reviews on home views. What one thing we're quite we're very unusual from any other review site in that we actually proactively go and ask residents in new build developments to write reviews, whether that brand is collaborated with us or not. And the reason why we do that is firstly, we want to be as useful as we can to the consumer. And if we were only working with a few brands here or there, we mm. wouldn't be able to tell you what the top rated buildings are in London or Reading or Manchester or Buckinghamshire. Um, so when we do that, we actually send out a postcard to residents in these buildings and offer them an incentive to write a verified resident review. Okay. And, um, and 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 so we're, when we work with a brand, effectively, they're really using us as their customer insights tool, their customer yes. sex. And most of those surveys have always been in-house. They've never been fully transparent. Home views is just a way of making that feedback transparent. And, mm-hmm. you know, as I said, hospitality sector, I think, was... Um, slightly turned on its head by TripAdvisor, but it increased the level of service and improved the quality. And I, I hope we're going to do the same for the housing sector. I, I, I mean, I, I've had a surf around the website and it, it seems that it seems that you are. Uh, can, can people actually find, do they use home views as a source of finding property or do they find a property and then go and assess what, what's it like to live there? What, what are the reviews looking like? Well, for, I think, yeah, it, we, we've definitely to date have been more of a sounding board. And so people are, are looking at a development, a building or a developer when they're doing their research, they're finding home views. We have about two million people a year visit the website. But um, because of our coverage now is 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 national and and um, very good, we are uh, lead generating. So people can make inquiries on okay. the website, yeah. um, and also they can look for you know the top rated building in in a certain location anywhere yeah. in the UK. So we absolutely have plans that we will become you know a discovery tool mm-hmm. and a way for you to find in the same way you know you would search on Booking.com or TripAdvisor for the top rated yes. um, housing development or apartment development in X location. Um, that is uh, how you can use home views as well. Absolutely. Great stuff. Great stuff. Love what you're doing. Is, is it right across the country or sorry, are, are, are there built to rent developments, presumably more in metropolitan urban places, but are they stretching across the country? They are. I mean, uh, yeah, as, as you say, to date, most of built to rent buildings have been in, in urban locations. But you're seeing a huge amount of investment into what they call uh, sim- single family housing. So housing developments that mm-hmm. are built to rent. Um, there's already some very big brands doing that, like Simple Life uh, and Live Different, um, and, and there'll be lots more entrants to the market. And I think what we haven't seen yet is these purpose-built 
housing estates um, for rent, where you'll have five five bedroom homes um, mm-hmm. with with a clubhouse, with a kind of set, almost probably m- more akin to what you might have experienced if you've ever gone to Europe on a holiday and renting yeah, like a villa. A resort. But that but that type of opportunity, which you get, as I said, in Europe and America and and in the Middle East and Asia, is very common. But we've never really seen it in the UK. Okay. Interesting. Who's who's funding these massive developments? Where's the money coming from? Well, it's really interesting because this is really the first time that institutional money like pension funds have really invested into directly into the residential market. So one of the biggest players at the moment uh, within Build to Rent is, is Legal and General, who have a, a own, I think, a, 11 or 12 communities right across the country. You've got m and um, I mean, it, it, it's okay. big institutional money. And, and these are the guys that used to be investing or still are in commercial or retail, mm. but they never had an opportunity to invest in the what we call the living sector. And the living sector is the fastest growing property investment sector. So, and, and that is being driven by by build to rent. So, institutional money, a lot of a lot of private equity, but it, it's a real um, cross section. Rory, well, we really appreciate your time. Great to talk to you and to carry on learning about um, the, the build to rent sector. And as I say, I love a customer review platform. I think <laughs> when people are trying to make these big decisions, actually hearing from someone who lives in there, and and because um, it's a it is still new ground built to, built to rent and people um, I, the, the the better understanding that people have of what you get and what you don't get what you pay for and what you don't have to pay for is, is super useful so really appreciate your time thanks Phil so much it's been a pleasure thanks a lot